All right, guys, ADHD here, back with another video, and today is a very, very good day. It's a day I've been waiting for for a long time, and that is the rocket engines. I finally got the rocket engines today, so today is the first vlog that involves the rocket engines. Like I said, I have many vlogs I want to do involving these, so let me know down below, guys, some other ideas you guys would like to see me do with the rocket engines. But today, I am really, really excited to get into this one, but before we do that, we're going to start off with the reflex contest, as always. Right now, you are in your rocket ship. You have to launch a the exact same time as a NASA worker, you have to be very punctual. So exactly when I get to zero in that time period, you have to hit the like button to launch your rocket ship. You got three, two, one, zero. Go, 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 go. Time's up. Hopefully you're able to hit the like button within that zero to the end of the go. And if you didn't, your rocket's still there. You know, you probably lost NASA millions and millions and millions of dollars, possibly millions. So hopefully you launched the rocket ship by hitting that like button. But anyway, guys, we're going to get started today. Right now, we are trying to figure out how to even get the rocket engines to work. Neither of us have ever done this before. You know, uh, we didn't go to the very apparently uh, rich schools that taught us this stuff because we just did like simple crap, like, you know, throwing airplanes and stuff. We didn't do rockets. So we're trying to learn that right Right now it's got some very very complicated uh you know instructions here i don't think that's all in english okay it is okay <laughs> well, so, this row isn't okay <laughs> it doesn't look like it's in english it's really confusing i mean it's almost like it's rocket science <laughs> I, I literally picked up the camera just for that joke <laughs> so yeah it's pretty complicated though <laughs> So we're trying to figure this out right now. Hopefully we can figure it out and then we can get started on it. So we're gonna figure that out, then we're gonna start on constructing and then we're gonna go to the park and have a lot of fun and volley rocket engines. Cause I've, again, I've never even seen a rocket engine go off before. So the way I'm doing it is gonna be really, really cool hopefully. So I'll check back in with you guys as soon as we get this figured out. All right, guys, so right now we are at Home Depot going to pick up a few supplies to try and get started on this. I've realized that we need a few resources in order to build these rockets, so that's what we're doing right now is getting the last few things we need, and then we'll get back, get the rocket built, get everything set up, and then we're going to park and do our testing. All right, guys, so we are back now, and we're trying to figure out how to ignite the rocket and the engine and everything like that. I have no clue at all. I saw Steven Scherer did a rocket football, and I wanted to try and do something similar, and I wanted to do it with the Vortex ball because I felt like this would fly better because it's got fletchings almost like an arrow or a rocket does. So I'm thinking this would fly a little bit more straight. We're going to go outside and just test the rocket engine, and the safest way we were able to figure out to do it, basically, it's probably the stupidest way to do it, but it's the safest way we could think of on how to do it because we're going to test it because I don't want to go all the way to the park and the engine doesn't go off because you have to put this fuse inside the rocket, but it doesn't stay in there. And I saw online somebody use like some putty to put it in there. I'm going to try and use glue and see if it still works. If it doesn't work, then we got to figure out something else. But I'm going to try the glue and see if the engine goes off. If the engine goes off, that means it will be successful out on the park at the park. So here we go. We're going to go test this outside and see if the rocket engine goes off using glue. <laughs> All right, guys, so what our goal is, we're going to launch the rocket, the test rocket, to see if it works inside this grill. There's nowhere really else for us to test this safely, so I'm thinking if we put it inside the grill, there's no way it's going to get through this metal, like, you know, iron, like, case, basically. So it'll just bounce around in there, and that's pretty much it. And if it works, if we hear a lot of noises, or if we hear engine go off, and that means it pretty much worked, and that it would work out of the park too. So that's my main goal, just to see if the engine works this way. And if it works, that means we're golden, we'll go to the park and get started on it. So we have it kind of taped down right here. We're gonna light this right now and uh, see what happens. <laughs> a little bit nervous, but we're gonna find out what happens. All right guys, this is attempt number three. I'm thinking maybe it was the fuse that I used that didn't work. The fuse that I used that didn't run. <laughs> so this is actually a firework fuse we put in here, and hopefully it works. Dang, that's a short fuse. Yeah, it's a lot shorter of a fuse this time. Woo. That worked. <laughs> oh man, that worked, okay. All right guys, so I made the holes inside the vortex ball. I think this one's gonna come out really, really cool, hopefully. I'm gonna drop this bolt into the water. Here we go, ready? Yep. Whoa. <laughs> Literally, that's like the fastest way to heat up your coffee. <laughs> just real. drop a hot bolt in. Let me fill the water, see if the water's warm. Oh, the water's hot, dude. Fill the water. Dude, the water is hot. Yeah, water, I'm saying, that's the fast way to heat it for coffee. All, the reason why it stops bubbling is that the water's absorbing all that heat, you know? Yeah. All right, so now we're gonna try and put both the rocket engines inside of there and see if they fit. First one, boom, success. Second one, boom, success. So this looks kind of dope. Yeah, it looks pretty dope. The rocket vortex football. It looks like, it looks like a spaceship, doesn't it? Yeah, it like, does. Yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> First Nerf product on the moon. So well, if, I don't... If, if it did go to the moon, what message would you put on the ball? Vape Nation. <laughs> This is the first Nerf football I've seen on YouTube that uses two rocket engines. Hopefully that two engines makes the difference and this thing flies, flies high. All right guys, so now we are at the park. This is actually a regional park. If you were wondering what park I always go to, this is regional park and right behind me is actually my high school right here. I went to this high school, La Mirada High, and right here is regional park. And it's just, I'm very familiar with this park, so you always come here. So we're gonna go in there right now and throw the Nerf football and see if the rocket launchers actually work and make it really, really dope. <laughs> All right, guys, so here we go. We're gonna throw the first football, the orange one, and then we're gonna throw the Hail Mary one with two rockets next. But hopefully this one comes out good. We're gonna toss it all the way down there, see how far this thing goes. And it's foam football, so hopefully it doesn't hit anybody, but if it does, it won't do too much damage. I'm sorry if you guys can hear music in the background. Uh, it's just, that's actually a water park right behind us. Now you guys pick a mark and tell me where you guys think it's gonna land. Whoever's the closest in the comment section, I will try and heart all of your guys' comments. It's close. I'm saying maybe that yellow, the yellow stuff, the yellow bar bars. I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give you past this tree right here. I'm gonna give you past this tree. Uh, but those yellow bars, I don't even think you can see it on the camera. Let me slowly zoom in. You talk, you're talking about those yellow bars right there. Yeah, those yellow bars. Are, I think it's gonna make. I think I, I'm gonna give it at least past the tree. Past the tree? Past the tree in front of the yellow bars. All right, so here we go. Nerf rocket football. Let's do this. <clears throat> it didn't even go off. I'm gonna have to try and just do the Hail Mary. If this doesn't, didn't work, and the Hail Mary didn't work, we only brought three fuses, so. All right, guys, so here's the Hail Mary one. Uh, that one I wasn't really relying on. That was kind of sketched from the start. This is the one I'm really relying on. Here we go. Three, two, one. Alright guys, so this is where I would have a long walk to get this back. <laughs> it burnt up the entire wings like oh, wow. this. I thought I wasn't gonna be able to get it back. To be honest, I honestly thought I wasn't gonna get it back. I don't know if you can duck down there, you can see those fences down there. It went on the other side of that fence, guys. If I would have done this in my backyard, this would have been literally in the next neighborhood. Next like, neighborhood, yeah. It, it would have been like streets, streets down. That is insane. That what? went high, dude. That went higher than this tree. Yeah, that went higher than this tree. Which How? This is this is over 100 feet. That's at least, yeah. That's a, that may not 100 feet. That's no, that feet. is 100 feet, dude. Maybe? No, for sure. That's okay, I'd say feet. it's over between like 70 to 100 feet. And then it went all the way over those fences. I wish we could have got a better shot. I was trying to aim that way. But yeah. like, the rocket took off my hand and just kind of like, it almost like swung my arm out. So I said, I felt like I almost broke my arm. Cause like it swung my arm that way. So what I want to do guys, I want to make some kind of tube to where at the bottom, all that's out is the fuse and make a Nerf rocket launcher out of these. So that would that be way, sick. Cause I had a guide with my arm and it wasn't able to go straight, but if I had it inside of like a perfectly sized tube system and it had the fuse just out, I could light it and it would literally shoot out the rocket launcher. And who knows how far it would go with like a so perfect precision. So it's like a Nerf mortar. Yeah. <laughs> that's pretty <laughs> like sick. A Nerf rocket launcher or a Nerf mortar strike, whatever you want to call it. This would be flying out of a rocket launcher, a tube rocket launcher into the air. And it would be able to go a lot further than me throwing it. I wasn't able to guide it as well. It'd be in as like a perfect tube to shoot straight out. But like I said, if you guys want me to do a rocket launcher putting it inside of a tube system, let me know down below and I will get that done in another vlog. That would be really, really dope. And maybe we'll even shoot at some stuff in another vlog after that. But I have to see if it'll work first. So we'll probably come back to this park put in a tube system with a bunch of rocket footballs, just launch them to see how far they go. All right guys, that is actually it. I'm sorry for the vlog being so short. I, for some reason I thought I had a lot more footage than I did, and then I ended up editing the video and it was super, super short, so I apologize for that, but I have some really, really, really good news, and good news, I don't know why, I think I said good news, and good news. So basically, if you guys missed the announcement, I told you guys every Saturday I'm gonna try and do big Pokemon card unboxings, because I love opening up Pokemon cards, and you guys get mad when I open them without you, but I want to open them all the time. Like I want to open more than I do, but I don't want to take the whole vlog with Pokemon card unboxings. So Monday through Friday is going to be like our, you know, crazy projects, Nerf, all kinds of crazy stuff Monday through Friday. And then Saturday is going to be when I up open like random Pokemon cards. So they'll kind of look at it as like a bonus video because I already I upload Monday through Friday 
Well, I try to. Monday through Friday. And then Saturday, I never upload. So Saturday is just kind of a bonus video. So this Saturday, I'm going to be unboxing this. A complete Evolutions booster box. Look at all those packs, guys. We're going to be opening this whole thing. Somewhere in here could be the full art Charizard. Who knows what could be in this. We're going to find out this Saturday. So I know you guys love the Pokemon card unboxing, so that'll be on Saturday. So look forward to that. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.